Hello everyone, welcome to PhD tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about variables in PHP. So first of all, let me just remove everything from here. And in order to write a PHP code, first of all, we need to give this arrow sign, portion mark, PHP, and the tag int like this. So inside this, we can write our PHP code. So the variable we are going to talk about are string then we'll talk about integer integer is basically number then we'll also talk about float float is basically decimal number and we'll also talk about boolean as well so in order to give a comment in php we can just give double slash here and there you can see this comment out so right now if we save then refresh here there is nothing so right now let's first talk about string variable so in order to declare a string variable let's say here dollar name equal to we need to give two double quotation and in the with that semicolon so in order to declare a string variable we need to give double quotation and inside this double quotation you can write anything for example let's say yamin which is my name and let's print this so in order to print this we we'll say here equal and uh, it will be dollar name then refresh here there you can see it says yamin so we can add a few more things before printing this. So for example, let me just remove this. We'll give double quotation and here I'm going to say my name is, then I can just declare this variable and this variable won't take the name, which is yaml. I can just say it like this. And there you can see my name is yaml. Let me just zoom it here and there you go. Let me just give you one more example. Let's declare another variable. Let's say dollar four equal to let's say pizza and right now let's print this so i'm going to set here deco double quotation i like dollar foo and it will print pizza refresh here there you can see i like dollar foo and we can separate those by using a br tag so let me just write br tag here let me just do the same thing for here as well you can now refresh that you can see it's in different line. You can also print those variable in the same echo or in the same line. For example, we can say here echo, let's say dollar name, yummy, like dollar food. So the print will be yummy like pizza. If we now refresh here, there you can see yummy like pizza. So those are string variable. You can write here tasty pizza. You can write multiple line or multiple art in the variable and there you can see i like tasty pizza yeah i mean like tasty pizza so right now let's talk about integer how do we declare integer variable for example uh let's say dollar eight equal to let's give a number let's say 25 and whenever you want to declare a integer variable that is no need to give any double quotation if you give double quotation then this will consider as a stream not as a number so let's print this the printing is same let's say here echo i am dollar edge years old refresh and there you can see i am 25 years old okay let me just use the br tag here and here as well and there you go, I am 25 years old. Let me just give you one more example with the dessert. Let's say here dollar price equal to let's say price is 40. So we are going to print this. So let's say here equal the product price is dollar price. And I just forgot to give a semicolon here. So let me just save it. Then refresh and there again the product price is. 40. So let's say you have to have dollar sign before this. Then for it, all you need to do is that you just have to give a dollar sign, say, then refresh, and there you can see dollar 40. So let's talk about float. There you can see dot, and let's talk about dot. So float is basically decimal variable. And how can we declare decimal variable or float variable? For it, let's say get dollar CTPA equal to, let's say your CTPA is 3.5. So in order to declare a float variable, all you need to do is that you just need to give a dot and then a number. Let's say use GPS3. So 
you want to get it as a float so after this you need to set here 3.0 if you say here only 3 then it will consider as an integer but if you give a dot and any number then it will consider as a float so let's also print this oh let me just copy this paste it here let's send here my cgpa cgpa is dollar cgp and let me just copy this br and paste it for the price save it refresh there you can see my cgp is 3.5 so right now let's talk about boolean temple so the value for boolean is either the variable value is true or false boolean variable is like a on off button it has only two data true and false so, so in order to declare a boolean variable let's say they are dollar online let's say online equal to you need to set here true it will say either true or false then this variable will be considered as a boolean variable if you write any other things then it will not consider as a boolean variable you either need to say get true or false let's say here equal you are dollar online so if you now save and if you now refresh there you can see it is showing only you are and there is no data for online and if we say they are true then save it then refresh here there you can see you are on so if the value of the boolean variable is true then it will give us on but if it is false then it will be nothing it will give us nothing so we normally do not use boolean we only use boolean when we want to use this as a condition if there is any data empty or not if empty then we give that condition uh the, that boolean value inside the if condition and the if condition we check if the value of that certain data is true or false so those are the string integer float and boolean variable in bhp i hope your basic is clear about variable in php if you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. I will check out the comment. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.